prove that the centripetal acceleration of a body revolving in a circular orbit revolving in a circular orbit of radius r with a tangential velocity v with a tangential velocity v is ac equal v square by r o is the center of a circular orbit and we can denote uh, a diameter this is the diameter of uh, the circular orbit along which uh, the body will be revolving and here we can denote uh, a radius r is uh, the radius of this circular orbit and this is a body of mass m at the point a m be the mass of a body which will be revolving along the circular orbit uh, uh, of radius r r is the radius of the circular orbit along which the body will be revolving and the body has the tangential velocity v along the tangent at1 v is the tangential velocity with which the body will be revolving and the body will move from the point a to b in time t second b is the final point at which the body reaches at time t equal t second and uh, the tangential velocity of the body at the point b uh, will be along the tangent bt2 the body has the tangential velocity v at the point b along the tangent bt2 at the instant t equal t second r is the radius now you can denote the angular displacement theta theta is the angular displacement of the body if it travels from a to b similarly that angle will be theta this angle will be theta which is uh, the alternate angle and and also the angle subtended by the tangent bt2 with the vertical direction is also theta now the tangential velocity v at the point b is resolved into two rectangular components the component along the direction by is v cos theta and the component uh, along uh, uh, along a direction parallel to the radius ao it will be v sin theta v sin theta is the rectangular component of tangential velocity v along the direction bx prime along the direction bx prime uh, parallel to the radius ao parallel to the radius ao now the component of tangential velocity v at the point a at instant t equal 0 second is ux uh, which will be equal to v cos 90 degree along the radius ao along uh, radially inward direction that is along ao the component of tangential velocity v of the body at the initial point a along the radius ao will be ux which will be equal to v cos 90 degree let v be the tangential velocity v be the tangential velocity or the linear velocity of the body linear velocity of a body linear velocity of a body of mass m revolving in a circular orbit revolving in a circular orbit of radius r along the tangent along the tangent a t1 at the initial instant at the initial instant t equal 0 second at initial instant t equal 0 let v be the tangential velocity of or linear velocity of a body of mass m revolving in a circular orbit along the tangent at1 at the initial instant at the initial instant t equal 0 second the rectangular component the rectangular component of uh, the linear velocity v of the body at the point a that is at the initial instant that is at the initial instant t equal 0 second along the radius ao along the radius ao of the circular orbit along the radius ao of the circular orbit is given by ux equal v cos 90 degree 
rectangular component of velocity v at the point a along the radius a o will be v cos 90 degree therefore u x is equal to 0 u x is equal to 0 which is the rectangular component of linear velocity at the point a along the radius a o u x is equal to 0 which is in the radially inward direction that is along a o now the body now the body is in the, now the body in the circular motion travels from now the body in circular motion travels from the point a to the point b a to the point b in time t second travels from the point a to b in time t second uh, along the circular orbit along the circular or orbit with the uniform tangential velocity or with the uniform tangential speed v with the uniform tangential speed v again v is the tangential velocity or linear velocity of the body v is the linear velocity of the body at the final point b at the instant t equal t second along the tangent bt2 along the tangent b2 to bt2 full stop the rectangular component the rectangular components of this tangential velocity or linear velocity v of the body at the final point b at the final point b on the circular orbit at the final point b on the circular orbit r vx is equal v cos theta vx is equal to v cos theta which acts along the direction by which acts along the direction by that will be perpendicular to tangential motion and uh, vx equal v sin theta vx equal v sin theta along the direction bx prime along the direction bx prime parallel to the radius ao along the direction bx prime parallel to the radius ao parallel to the ra initial radius ao at the point a therefore at the point a at instant t equals 0 second the rectangular component of velocity along the radius a o is u x which will be equal to v cos 90 degree similarly uh, at the point b at the point b the rectangular component of velocity along the direction b x parallel to the radius a o will be v x which will be equal to v sin theta therefore the centripetal acceleration therefore the centripetal acceleration of the body is given by the centripetal acceleration of the body is given by ac is equal to ac is equal to the change in velocity of the body along uh, the radius ao change in velocity of the body revolving in a circular orbit along the radius ao along the di direction ao or along the radius ao change in velocity of the body radially inwards divided by divided by time divided by time taken by the body to reach from a to b for a angular dis for an angular displacement theta that is interval of time therefore ac is equal to vx minus ux divided by t or comma ac equal v sin theta minus v cos 90 degree divided by t or comma ac is equal to v sin theta minus 0 divided by t or comma ac is equal to v sin theta divided by t or comma or comma ac uh, will be equal to uh, ac will be equal to what in place of sin theta we can write theta where theta will be very small angular displacement theta will be very small here we get ac which is the centripetal acceleration of the body will be equal to v sin theta divided by t if the angular displacement is very small if the angular displacement under bracket theta is very small that is theta less than 4 degree theta less than 4 degree then 
sin theta will be approximately equal to theta sin theta will be approximately equal to theta provided the angular displacement theta is less than 4 degree theta should be less than 4 degree in that case sin theta can be written as theta uh, now we know that ac is equal to v sin theta divided by t now in place of theta uh, sin theta you can write theta that is ac equal to v theta divided by t equal v under bracket theta by t ac is equal v under bracket theta by t where theta is the angular displacement of the body from a to b and we get v omega where the angular velocity where the angular velocity omega is equal to uh, is uh, given by omega that will be equal to theta by t equal v under bracket v by r since the tangential velocity of the body v is the product between angular velocity omega and radius of the circular orbit therefore v equal to omega r and vector v equal vector omega cross vector r therefore ac will be equal to v square by r ac will be equal to v square by r and that is the centripetal acceleration that is the centripetal acceleration of a body revolving in a circular orbit ac is equal to v square by r which is the centripetal acceleration of the body revolving in the circular orbit revolving in the circular orbit of radius r circular orbit of radius r so finally we get the expression of centripetal acceleration which is ac that will be equal to v square by r ac is equal to v squared by r this is the uh, this is in radially inward direction this is in uh, the radially inward direction with respect to uh, the circular orbit r is the radius of circular orbit our body of mass m is revolving with tangential velocity v and ac the centripetal acceleration ac will be equal to v square by r that is ac equal to v square by r which is the centripetal acceleration of a body revolving uh, revolving uh, in the circular orbit of radius r